G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am just finishing dusting the little tips of my Cascade mould and I am going to do another Cascade flower for you. Now, the only reason I'm calling it a Cascade flower is just so that we can differentiate between the different types of flowers. Now, this particular one um, is a cross between a fairy flower and a dragon flower. So instead of calling it a fairy dragon or something, I'm just going to call it a... Um, a cascade flower because it's in my cascade mold and I dust the edges with um, a powder. This one is pink gold. Look how gorgeous it is. It's by Pearl X pink gold. So yummy. So I want to try and do something like this again because I love it. So I'm going to try and do exactly the same thing um, with different colors. So that's what I have in mind what I'm going to try and do. Although that one was with uh, Art Pro, and today I have got Super Clear mixed up by Platinum. So that's it there. Um, I'm going to use one of my little pre made dots for the center. This one is pink and, and gold. So I'm just going to pop that in the center there. If you have got these with your leftover glitter, um, just make sure that you're putting the flat side down, not the not the top, because the top can be like domed. So push that down. Right, so same thing, we have white. Um, I'm using the bloom. This is my smallest amount of resin. I'm gonna use my bloom. Um, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six drops. Whoops, that's a big one. One, two, let the drop come to the end. Three, and then I let go, give it a push. Four, five, and six. So that's six. All right. Let's see how we go with that. You can get different size drops out of that depending on how hard you squeeze and how much you twist the little nozzle. But I want it to be sort of opaque um, because you know I want the the petals to form, but not not too opaque that they're too heavy for the resin to handle and then they just fall straight through. So give that a, a good stir. Um, it's It looks opaque, but then when you tip it, you can see the stick through the edge there of the white. So I'm going with that. Um, what was this one? This one here was also um, six drops of bloom paste as well. So yeah, that one worked well. That one didn't have a second clear push though. This one is going to have a second clear push. So I've mixed up, um, what did I mix up for the, for the first clear push here? Uh, 115 grams of part A and 50 grams of part B of the Platinum Super Clear. <clears throat> it is a very similar consistency or viscosity I, I think to the Art Pro. If you can't get Art Pro <clears throat> and you're in Australia you could try the, um, the Super Clear. I don't know if Super Clear is available from Platinum outside Australia yet but um, I'm sure it will be at some stage but yeah not yet. So if you're in Australia Super Clear, if you're not in Australia maybe Art Pro. Very very similar for the flowers. All right, so that's my white. Now for my edge, <clears throat> Aronia. It leaked everywhere yesterday. I don't know why. Aronia uh, Resin Ink by Octopus. And uh, we'll just try two. I don't know why it's leaking. <clears throat> we'll try two. Now, if your colours are too dark, the white doesn't work as well as it should. I, I don't know why, but it just doesn't it doesn't spread properly if your colours are too dark. So it looks quite dark on there in there, but it's still still transparent. Needs a bit more of a stir though. You don't want any streaks. And a lot of the ink kind of gets stuck to the side of the cup as well if you're using a paper cup. It gets stuck to the side. So you probably lose half a drop there. <clears throat> now, um, the pink is going to be strawberry. I'll see how two drops go. I might have to add a drop of one of the darker colours as well. Mm. 
Mm, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Just two. So two and two. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, hey? Oh, look at that. Look at me. Can't take me anywhere. Ink everywhere. Just as well I've got gloves on. All right, so then my clear push is what's left. Um, I could weigh it. No, I won't weigh it. I think it's about maybe 70 grams left. Interference Pink by Let's Resin. Let's see how that goes. About that much. The Interference Pink, or the Interference by Let's Resin, they don't seem to be like as strong or heavy as um, a regular mica powder. So I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't use that much mica powder because it would just all fall through to the other side and you just get this massive mica on the back. But with the interference, um, it seems that uh, it doesn't do that. So it just gives a nice little, nice little sort of a pinky shimmer, but basically clear. All right, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to do the purple edge first, like so. Now I have noticed that for some reason my colours always seem to get reversed after I pour them. I start with purple on the outside and red in the middle, and then, or vice versa, you know, and then uh, depending on the colour, and then when I unmold, it's opposite. I have the red on the outside and the pink in the middle. So. Anyway, we shall see what happens. So I'm planning on getting like a pinky, pinky colour in the centre because the white petals, um, you know, will make pink when they hit the red. And we'll do some little dots. I won't torch at the moment. I'll just leave it as is. I can see a couple of bubbles coming out from under this little disc though. So we'll just move those out of the way. The bubbles will come up and pop or I'll, I'll torch at the end. I'm not going to stop to torch now. All right, let's take the top off that. And I'm going to do about, oh, I don't know about that, whatever that is, whatever that is, two or three millimetres. Mm, maybe a little bit more. Can we see that? Hopefully we can see that. All right. Now, I don't want to do too, too many dots. I'm just going to go around on the inside of this purple. And we go. Now, I'm not squeezing the bag. I'm just letting that resin run out in, in drips. So it's kind of dictating what size they're going to be because I'm not squeezing. They're just dripping and around again. So we're going to do dots, we'll do the clear push, and uh, then we'll do some more dots and we'll do some M's because the M's are um, inspired by the dragon flower. Now I will link resincourses.com course down below in my description and there's also a 10% coupon code if you want to use that, if you want to do the fairy flower, the dragon flower, the Larimar, uh, whatever course you want to do you can do them individually you can do them separately I love my dots are not centered or my <clears throat> little disc isn't centered I don't know all right I'm gonna go another <clears throat> another little round around the outside so yeah uh, what I'm doing today is totally inspired by the fairy flower which is the dots and the dragon flower which is the M's which I'll show you in a minute and um, now once you've done the course you can put aspects of different courses together and uh, kind of make it your own. So that's what I've that's what I've done today, making it my own. All right, now that's all the dots I'm going to do for now. I'm going to pour in this clear push in the middle. Push all that out to the sides. Like so. Turn off my stick for later. And then come back and inside where I can see those dots, I'm going to go with some more dots. You can see it's starting to move in already. So 
So I think pretty basic. There's not too much to this. You know, there's a white, there's a side, like an edge color, there's a middle color. So yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not too much involved, I don't think. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll turn out well. Okay, so that's all my dots in the center. Now with my leftover resin, I'm going to do two rows of M's. Whoops, so here we go. Just around the outside. Again, I'm not squeezing too hard. I'm just letting the resin fall out. As I get towards the end of the bag though, I'm gonna to have to squeeze it a little bit more. Hopefully I've got enough to do another row. Hopefully. No, oh, hope so. Maybe not, maybe not. Come on, let's do it. Oh, look, I'm going to make it, you guys. I'm going to make it. Oh, my gosh. I didn't think I was going to make it. <gasps> there we go. And I've actually got a tiny little bit left. Let's just leave that. <clears throat> tiny little bit left. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, I am just going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to mix up... Um, another little push to go into the middle which is a fresh push push which uh, the resin will be much thinner and it's just going to hopefully push everything out of the way um, I'm going to do 25 grams of A and 11 grams of B I'll be right back right oh, there it is <laughs> such a small amount I was stirring like crazy it's quite bubbly um, now I ended up doing 12 drops because I was going for 11 but anyway I got 12 so it doesn't matter 25 of A, 12 of B. Now I'm going to just get a tiny bit of this purple aronia. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on the end of my toothpick there. Pop that in there. Just to try and colour that ever so slightly. I don't know why it's getting everywhere. I'm going to have to get a baby wipe and clean that bottle because it's just so messy. Alright, it's not very dark at all but... Just a hint of purple in there. So this is the fresh push. And we're going to use that to push everything out and hopefully it'll come back in again. All right, here we go. In the middle. And hopefully push everything back again. Hopefully it'll come back. Um, look, I may have to uh, come back with my little syringe and suck some out if it's not going to close all the way because I don't know if it is at this stage so we'll just wait and see what it's going to do so I'm going to leave the bubbles for now uh, I'll come back and check it in about 15 minutes I'll give it a torch so we can see what's going on we'll shine the torch in different torch flashlight see what's happening see if it's closing um, and then decide if we want to suck some out or not so I'm just going to cover it with my little sieve like that and come back to it in about 15 minutes. Alrighty, it's been 15 minutes. Now <laughs> we've got a myriad of bubbles there on the top, haven't we? Let's get rid of these. Let's just get rid of those and see what's going on underneath. Right, it's looking... Very, very transparent. Those, those, the white is looking very transparent, isn't it? Look at that. So um, it hasn't closed up totally. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out just a tiny bit. That didn't really help, did it? I'm going to take out just a tiny bit just to close that area up because there's a bit of area that hasn't got any white in it so I'm going to do that I'll be back up on the stand there we go and I'll get my little syringe hopefully it's still working uh, it's a bit hard to to pull it's getting old it's getting old all right now I can see I probably haven't done enough actually I probably haven't done enough dots in the center because there's one right up here and I need it to move down there. So now I'm only going to sort of pull the top because I don't want to dislodge that 
disc on the bottom. So basically, look at that. It's pretty much just all that clear push. So get rid of that. You could make a little pendant out of it if you wanted to. Um, do I want to do any more? Let's do a tiny bit more. Another half. So one and a half syringes, about 15 mil or so, 15, 20 mil. Take that out. All right. Now let's go down and have a little look. So now you can see the difference. The, the center has closed up now, which is what I would prefer. I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned, actually, just because the white looks so transparent. But uh, on previous times where, you know, the white hasn't been so transparent, it's kind of all fallen to the bottom and gone blobby. So let's just leave it at that and, and see what we get. And you can see there's a little bit of purple still around the edge, but most of it's kind of gone pink. And we've got a purple ring here that it's pink and then it's kind of white in the middle. So, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I'll probably still keep changing for a little while, but uh, I will see you when it's time to unmold. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, it has cured. I've just got it out of the um, curing machine. Just ignore that. <laughs> I had some leftover resin from a different pole when I was making little little dots little discs to go in the centers of my paws all right let's have a little look it's looking quite puffy and fluffy i don't see any like big blobs that have dropped on the bottom from the white but that doesn't mean they're not there <laughs> it does not mean they're not there just because i can't see them let's have a look i will link this cascade mold down in the description as usual for you if you want that one it's my favorite i think it's a lot of other people's favorites as well uh, a little bit of a little bit of overflow there all right let's have a look gosh i hope it works i can't see much purple I really can't see much purple it just looks all pink with white in the center but who knows what the other side's going to look like we shall find out we shall find out oh you Guys, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I finally got one. All right, now this is what I was telling you about. It's just all pink on the edges with white in the middle and then you flip it over and it's pink in the middle with the purple on the outside. Oh, wow. I got my petals, you guys. I got my petals and then some pinky sort of gold in the center and hopefully that sort of picks up the pinky gold on the tips here <gasps> i'm so excited they're still quite big petals like they're not tiny like these the middle ones are a bit smaller but look i'm i'm not complaining i think it's very similar to to this one i think that they're very similar so Maybe I've kind of just discovered my own, my own little flower technique, hey? Oh, so happy, so happy, so happy. All right, let's go for a walk around the room with this one. Gosh, finally did it. I've got a lot of fails. You didn't see all my fails. I did get fails. Everyone thinks I just put up things that work, but nope. I do fails as well. Let me just zoom you out just a touch all right i'm loving these colors you guys oh my gosh all right so let's have a look at the little goldy rose gold pink gold tips what are you guys growling about please i'm trying to make a video wait yes i'm talking to you who's making that racket Stop, please. <laughs> oh, it's like having children in the house again. Dogs arguing with each other. All right. So the purple that we've got, it's, 
I kind of lost the purple on the edges. You know how I said the purple kind of goes from the edges? There's a little bit of pink on the edges there. Purple's moved forward into the middle and then pink right in the middle. So that's that one there. Can't really see a lot of that interference. Can you see? Mm, I can see a tiny bit of interference. Not much at all though. Not much at all. Wowzers, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. You cannot believe how happy this has made me because I've had so many fails. Yes, I have. All right, let's just go away from those bright lights. Around here. Again, away from the bright lights into some natural kind of move that can out of the way natural light from the window and you can see those little rose gold tips they're not really very bright which I didn't want them to be really really bright just wanted them to be um, just just a hint of gold really just a hint of gold There we go, that's looking from the other side of the bench, my workbench, without all the bright lights on it. All right, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to set up for a lovely photo for you. And um, hopefully I can do it again. Now that I've done it twice, I've done it twice, you guys, out of quite a few. I've done it twice. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient and um, looking at some of the... Some of my, not, I won't call them fails because I've been learning from them and hopefully you've been learning from them too. But some of them haven't been my best. But um, I'm only human. I am only human and I am learning these amazing techniques. So hopefully you're learning along with me. All right. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you all again real soon for the next video. I'm so excited. <laughs> Bye for now.